Greetings, Gherkins. Rodney here, obviously. Duh. Uh, this week's addendum is basically an extended recommendations. I have a couple things I want to recommend. And every week, I always feel that the recommendations, you know, ends too soon. I'm always like, it's so much more I wanted to recommend. My head is filled with so many things that I've seen and heard. Um, this week, I'm going to start off by recommending a film for you. And it's called The Northman. It's from 2022. It's brand new. Got that new movie smell to it. Actually, if The Northman did have a smell to it, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be a good smell. I mean, it's a great film, but it takes place in Viking times. And Viking times didn't smell so good. It's directed by Robert Eggers, who directed The Witch, a movie that I love. I also directed The Lighthouse, another movie that I love. And he directed Stop or My Mom Will Shoot, which is a movie I haven't seen yet, but I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, this, like The Witch, this movie takes place, it's historical fiction. So this is, instead of The Witch, which took place in the 16th century, this is actually taking place in the 9th century. Um, wonderfully violent film. Really a lot of violence. It's like, you know, it's not quite Bone Tomahawk. Bone Tomahawk set the bar really high on violence. It has that scene. Uh, but uh, um, the North has been pretty violent. There's a, there's a raid on a village and there's a tracking shot to it. And it definitely follows the violence. So... Be prepared for that, um, but it's just it just looks great. Uh, it's got William Defoe in it also. Um, now I mentioned that because William Defoe, I would give it ten, I give it you know a total of ten out of ten stars. It'd be fantastic. I give it nine out of ten stars because they really underuse William Defoe. I mean William Defoe is really being William Defoe in this movie. He's he's William Defoeing it to the max. He's um, I would say that he is somewhere uh, around. Okay, so here's William Defoe in this movie, right, right about here, and it's a good, it's a good William Defoe level. But in Antichrist, he was he was Defoe in way up here. He was like, and then of course there's the uh, the Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou, where he's you know he may be the octopus. Do you know what that means to me? So uh, again, Dave, Dave uh, why does I say Dave? Dave Eggers is somebody else, isn't he? Robert Eggers, uh, three for three, and uh, again just love his work. Uh, when The Witch came out, Vienna and I thought this film we saw the like trailer for it we thought oh this is going to be big huge there'll be lines around the block for it. it's going to be bigger than avatar and it's going to be bigger than titanic bigger than et all those combined it's going to be huge so we wanted to get there early so we went i took a day off and we went to a movie theater an imax movie theater the film wasn't in imax but they were showing it on this giant screen uh we went there at 7 30 in the morning to see it and there were i think three other people in the audience and one of them was an older woman who came out and said, boy, I love that movie, but I have no idea what was going on. And she's asking us, did you like it? We were like, yeah, we loved it. And we we're basically telling her, we we're like, you know, as long as you liked it, you can take any interpretation from it you want. So the, um, the, the Northman, I always want to say The Viking, which was a terrible, terrible film from like the 50s with Kirk Douglas. One of those, one of those films where it's historic fiction, but... They, they really didn't do their research, so there's like an Oldsmobile going by, you know, a bunch of drunken kids in the back, woo! Um, no, no, this is, this is not the Viking, this is the Northman, and um, the Northman is, is just really, really good looking, they really did their homework on it, um, it's a little weird, and it's a little more straightforward, uh, though, than the, the Witch, so there's a lot less ambiguity in it, but uh, um, still, I think it's pretty good. Nicole Kidman's in it, and I think any relationship she has in, in this film can't be nearly as weird as the relationship she had with Tom Cruise. So she was just probably getting, you know, dirty smelling Vikings. Okay, well, that's that's better than Tom Cruise. Um, I want to say the soundtrack, really, really good, excellent soundtrack. At first, I thought it was by the band Heel Lung, which is a band we're going to talk about right now. Uh, the band Heel Lung is a German band. Heel Lung is German for healing. And um, they do, I don't know what we call it. We want to call it tribal. We want to call it Nordic. Uh, I, it's, uh, um, it sounds like what Laplanders would listen to when they're herding the reindeer. Really uh, intense band. You probably heard of them. I'm probably not telling you anything you haven't heard with the Northmen because people, I'm hoping, have heard of that. And I'm also hoping you've heard of Heel Long. Heel Long had a big video for a long time up on YouTube. I think it was like an hour and a half long, and it was all one concert, and it was really intense. And uh, they, this was back when YouTube didn't have commercials. Oh, while we're speaking of commercials, um, I saw the Northmen on... Oh, a peacock. And it had like two minutes of commercials in the beginning. I'm thinking, I pay for peacock. I should not have to see commercials. Like when you go to the movies and it's like not coming attractions, it's commercials. And I'm like, why, why are you trying to sell me Drano at the movies? Of course, I don't go to the movies anymore because, you know, the plague is out there. The plague and the dust bowl and, and the whooping knee and all that stuff. 
But really, if you get a chance, please check out Heal Along. It's the only band I know of uh, that has an instrument that contains human remains. They have a, a rattle with some cremated remains in it. Really, really great band. Um, I'm hoping one day they'll come to Philadelphia, but eh, nobody ever comes to Philadelphia. And while we're on the subject of Vikings and Viking-like stuff, I want to talk to you for a minute about runes. Now, runes used to be everywhere. It was like, I'm casting the runes and all that. And then neo-Nazis, neo-Nazis ruined everything. They came along and they were like, no, the runes are ours. But the runes are not theirs. They don't own the runes. We own the runes. So if you have a shirt with some runes on it and you were worried about wearing it because you think people would think that you are a horrible bigot, wear the shirt and upset some horrible bigots. Like they'll see you wearing, you can't wear that. I'm going to soil myself. And you're like, ha ha, soil yourself, Mr. Bigot Man. If you're, if you're like a uh, black gay Jew, wear those runes and just make them cry. Make them cry a lot. Uh, all right, so that's really what I wanted to talk about this week. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to you next week. All right, bye.